Hey guys, Demolshorn34 here, and today we are taking a look at the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Now, I'm going to come out and say this right now. This is one of my favourite Prime toys released so far. I absolutely love this design of this figure. Um, now, here is Optimus in his truck mode. He is a completely new mould um, for the Beast Hunters line because they've all got new moulds for some reason. Um, whether we're actually going to get the characters like this in the show, I do not know. Um, but it would be pretty cool if we did because I absolutely love the design of this guy. And especially in robot mode, he looks badass. Um, but anyway, for accessories, this figure comes with a green star saber, um, which honestly, I think this is pretty cool. I mean, it's a cool weapon. Um, and also, one thing that I am really glad about um, for this figure, no mech tech weapons. Hallelujah. Um, basically, all the other Prime Voyagers came with... Um, one of these sort of things, these little mech tech weapons, and honestly, they sucked. Um, so it's really nice to see that the um, new Beast Hunters toys are abandoning that and actually giving us some proper cool weapon accessories, like the Star Saber here. We also have two missile launchers. They are called Ionic Pulse launchers, um, if you want. Um, they open up. And, um, yeah, you've got sort of like a little bow weapon. Um, these are cool. I mean, they don't really... They, they don't fire very well. Um, they're pretty weak, to be honest. Um, but it's nice to see that he comes with some nice new weapons. Um, it's a nice change of pace from all the mech tech stuff we've gotten lately. We're going to go back to basics. Um, but very, very cool vehicle. Maybe has some nice green windows. We have some more yellow paint apps on here. Some nice silver. Um, now, unfortunately, he does have a lot of this grey plastic going around. Um, but honestly, it's really not that noticeable in robot mode. He's got a lot more blue in robot mode. Um, and it, just, it looks really cool. Um, but there is the vehicle mode. Overall, very, very cool really do like it. So let's get him transformed into his robot mode. Now the transformation for the Beast Hunters Optimus Prime is actually fairly complex and I actually really like it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is remove all the weapons if you haven't already. Um, then we're going to take this, just sort of fold it up. Then we're going to come around here just unpeg this wing section from here. And we're going to fold it out just like so. And you can have him as a flying truck if you want. I don't know why you'd want to, but hey ho. Um, then we're gonna, then what we're going to do is we're going to just flip this entire section up. I'm going to come around here and unpeg the arms from here like that. And they do peg in really well, so just be careful with that. Don't break it. And um, then we're going to rotate the arms out like so. We can sort of just fold them forward. Then what we're going to do, in fact, just get these out of the way a sec. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come around here uh, we're going to get this piece and just sort of unpeg the old wheel section like that. Fold this down. And um, yeah, that wheel's really loose on mine. Um, yeah, we're going to fold out this entire wheel section. And we're just going to fold it all out, peg it together, and just sort of flip these little grey bits back up like that. Um, then that's done. Get this out of the way. Then what we're going to do is going to come up here and rotate the entire body section, upper body, around like that. Then what we can do is just flip up the head, get it out of the way. Then we just take this piece and I'm just going to lodge it in there. It doesn't really peg in, but it'll stay there. So there we go. Then what we're going to do is going to come around here. We're going to flip out the heels for his feet there, split the legs, and just get him stood up like so. Then we're nearly done. Uh, we're going to come around here and rotate the arms up and sort of peg them in. Then we can rotate the fist around like that. Same on the other side, peg the arm in, rotate the fist around, and then we are nearly done. And we're just going to take this entire section back here, and fold it down like so, rotate these pieces forward so the smokestacks are facing upwards. Then we're just going to fold these pieces down. And you can flip these pieces up, give them some wings. Make him look pretty badass, but like a jet wing optimus from Dark the Moon. And there is the new Beast Hunters Voyager Class Optimus Prime in his awesome looking robot mode. Now, the robot mode on this guy, in my opinion, is just awesome. I absolutely love the design that they went with for this figure. Um, everything just looks, you know, he's just much bigger. He looks badass. If you ask me, really, really badass. Um, and the wings look awesome. I really hope we get that in the show. Get a flying Optimus in the show. That'd be awesome. Um, now, yeah, for robot mode, he does have a lot more blue, as you can see. A lot more blue than vehicle mode. Um, with a bit more silver. Um, he has a new head sculpt, which I will get into a little bit later. Um, just, yeah, there he is. Pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Now, as for the weapons, he has the Star Saber, obviously. And you can take that and you can peg it into his hand. 
like so. It doesn't really go on any further on my figure. Um, not sure if that is it, if that's the case for everybody. But you can only get the Star Saber in his hand about that far, and then it'll stop. Um, as for these, you can either you can peg it in his hand if you want. Let's try and do this. There we go. You can peg it into his hand, or you can actually take these little missile things here, and you can actually sort of peg them on his back here as a little bit of storage. Now this is what I tend to do um, with both of them um, and it actually looks like he's got a rocket pack um, that can actually you know, launch him. So um, he does have a nice amount of weapon storage. You can also take the weapons and you can also peg them um, in the little ports here um, to get them out of the way. You can put them on his back or just sort of under here. So very very cool. He's got nice He's got some options up for him. I mean, you can you can really do what you want with the weapons. Um, I believe you can actually take the star saber and you can actually put it on his back as well, um, which is also a very cool feature, like he did in the show um, with his old design. So yeah, you can put it on his back. You can sort of have it angled if you want. You can really do what you want with this figure, and that's what I really like about it. You've got a lot of options. It looks awesome. Um, I mean, just for playability with this figure. Top notch. For a quick comparison, here he is next to the old RAD version of Optimus. Now you can see that this new Beast Hunters version is just much, much bigger in comparison. And he also comes with different weapons, like I said. I mean, this one comes with sort of a mini version of the Star Saber um, and a stupidly annoying mech tech weapon. Whereas this one comes with an awesome version of the Star Saber and two fairly decent missile launchers. Um, and you can just, I mean, just the size difference. I'm really glad that um, the Voyagers are getting bigger now. Um, because honestly, the Prime Voyagers in the R.I.D. line were really, really small. And that's due to this freaking mech tech weapon. Now that they've stopped doing them, I'm really hoping that the Voyagers start to go up in size like this one. Um, and I haven't got Predaking yet, but I hope that Predaking is a decent size as well. Optimus also has a new head sculpt for this mold. Um, I actually really like it. It's sort of a sort of a movie-esque Optimus Prime, but with a bit more animated in there. Um, and it looks cool, honestly. I've, I've seen people complaining about it on the forums. I think it looks cool. Um, I really don't have a problem with it. Well, that is it for the Beast Hunters Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Overall, this is a fantastic figure, and I really, really highly recommend this guy. He's a lot of fun to mess around with. And if we actually get this design in the show for Season 3, I think we're in for a very good season. So, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.